but we thought it was time that we sit down and give you guys all an update on what the hell is going on around here. It's only March, so better late than ever. <laughs> yeah. We've got plenty going on. We've got a new community give back project, community yeah. meetups, wilderness weekend, plenty more travel challenges. So we've got a lot going on. Sit down, relax. Grab a coffee. And we'll tell you all about yeah. it. So first let's rewind to last year where we took a bit of a break from posting weekly on YouTube as we wanted to focus on loads of other projects. And yep. it was a whirlwind of a year for the pair of there us, was wasn't so it? so much going on. I mean, <laughs> start of the year, we ended up finishing on the Dork van yeah. build, the Renner Master, which is next. The one I live we in. then took on another van build, the small Volkswagen Caddy. And what else? We took on a Bushcraft instructor oh, yeah. qualification. <laughs> we got a qualification <laughs> as Bushcraft instructors. Of... That's what I should have said. So that was so really good, awesome. wasn't it? Yeah, because it, it's an interest that we both have. It gets you outdoors a lot more and it just teaches you to survive in the wild, which I think a lot it of people works. want now, don't they? Yeah, and it works for all of our travel adventures. If you haven't realized yet, the ones that we take on, we're always out in the, in the bush. So <laughs> off the back of that, <laughs> I've also launched Wilderness She's been Weekends. She's a busy girl, hasn't she? I have, and that's why sometimes you need to take a back step from stuff. Even if you enjoy it, if you want to progress somewhere else, you yeah. need to obviously make the time. So that is what we did last year. Um, so Wilderness Weekends, I shared it on a community post uh, about <laughs> two weeks ago now, and um, feeling very blessed really because yeah, it, it got did so well. It got booked up in 48 hours. Um, so. Of course, there'll be more to come. And if you want to find out more about that, just drop me an email at hello at nickrones.co.uk. And I'll also put a link up so you can see the one that was launched, so you can see kind of what they're going to be like. But, you know, there, yeah, there will idea. be a different web link going forward. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get me on that stream, <laughs> He wants to be on the Wilderness Weekends as well. Yeah. They're going fast, man. I told you. But I think in all of the years that we've been filming YouTube, so we've never actually had someone like... No, we haven't actually, like, photo bomb or anything in no. the background. No, so... Yeah, that. that's new. <laughs> we've yeah. made it! Yeah, to be fair, though, we have, didn't recognize. we have been talking about, because we have a mic on our camera, and it all looks so official. Um, sometimes we talk about whether to just, like, downgrade it a bit so we're more comfortable walking around but more conspicuous people always eyeball the camera and the, yeah. the microphone yeah they look at you like you're some crew from but, the bbc um, oh i've got my notes of what the what we're talking about so um this is where we'd normally cut yeah so as we kind of already covered uh, we wanted to focus on some projects that took us away from the digital realm. We feel like it can be really heavy. We're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. It, it's, it's a lot. lot. It's a lot, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think it's definitely true for you. Me, not so much. I'm on YouTube. Yeah. And that is pretty much it. I'm not really on Instagram. I'm not on Facebook, other than looking at dog videos and stuff. <laughs> yeah, the dog videos. They're, all, they're really good dog though, aren't they? Some of them are hilarious. Surfing. Um, but yeah, so that that is basically why we wanted more time away from the digital realm and yep. more time outdoors in nature and really connecting with it. That's where we enjoy it the most. Yep. Um, so that's what we wanted to do. So next up is sharing today's sponsor and we just want to give a huge shout out to all of the sponsors on our channels across all of them and you guys as well because without them and you we wouldn't be here today so Absolutely. let's go today's video is sponsored by iBlock Cube. it is a brand where you can find all of your essential travel adapters i know you're probably looking at this like it is just a plug but it is not just a plug. This is the iBlock Cube Travel Swift Pro Adapter designed for international use. So it's gonna be great for our upcoming adventures. It's a plug with US, EU, AU and UK variants so it can be used in over 150 countries just like the rest of their adapter range. This one is brand new on the market and now they're most powerful. It's 140 watts and uses GAN technology, which means it can handle higher power levels and charges faster than your typical silicon. There's three USB type C ports, one USB A and an eight hole universal socket. Type C is more efficient and faster when it comes to transferring files and charging versus any other USB cable. You can even use it to charge larger devices like laptops. No more charging one device at a time. So we have a three month backpacking adventure plan. Can you guess where we're going before we share it? And of course, we're gonna be packing the Swift Pro along with the Swift and the Nimble. As digital nomads that live on the road and are now apparently backpackers, we are always looking for lightweight, compact, durable and high quality gear. So we're very happy to have discovered iBlock Cube. Even if you're not traveling, but you have limited plug sockets like us living in a van, these adapters come in handy too. I guess we should tell you about our up and coming backpacking 
an adventure. We are, we going, are going to, to Asia. Asia. <laughs> so we're going to be heading to Southeast Asia for three months, starting yeah. in April. We'll be heading to the Philippines for the first month. Yeah, so I can explore. We can explore. <laughs> I'm going as well, remember. <laughs> we can explore my motherland. My yeah. mom is Filipino. Yes, I've been to the Philippines before, but it's to like Manila and Lipa and in the cities. So this time we're going to get to go around the islands and explore Real the area properly. Really, really excited, yeah. Super excited. This is something I've wanted to do forever. Yeah. And with this trip, means that we're going to be going back to doing weekly videos yeah. commencing in the Philippines, which is going to be the first country we visit. We then have two final months where we're yeah. potentially thinking of Vietnam and Cambodia. We're swaying towards it, but we're actually we're Quite actually open. hoping that you guys have some suggestions too. Like we said, we've never been to that area of the world before. Yeah. You know what we like. We love adventure challenges. We love off the beaten track stuff. I'm sure everyone says this. Of course, Truly. we're still going to see the popular places yeah, too, yeah, because why would you not when you're all the way out there? It's going to be completely new for us. But we're hoping to like, I don't know, do some like jungle trekking and things like that. So Island survival. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, so Wilderness yeah, weekends in the Philippines. Any suggestions? Let us know in the comments because we are completely open to changing yeah. um, Vietnam and Cambodia if there's a country that would be better suited to us. Then after that, so that takes us all the way through to the end of June. Yeah. So we'll be back in July, which is when the Wilderness Weekends kick off. The first one is the 27th and 8th of July. Um, and I'm actually hoping to throw quite a few over the summer and autumn. So we'll be road tripping the UK, I guess, in between. So we'll be more like homebodies for a little bit through that period of time, yeah. um, which is going to be interesting because you, well, I maybe. Guess, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're Sam still torn might, on that. I Sam don't like might the idea go abroad. Of being in the UK you know, which you can because yeah, we've got yeah, our van each plans. and I can focus on the wilderness weekends, which is fine. We don't know what's going to happen really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're but, pretty open for the summer to be honest. And then um, I feel like we're going to just share the whole year with you. So we wanted to tell you all about our travel challenges. No, 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 no we did not. <laughs> we haven't covered community give back. Yeah, that project. is next on the list. So last <laughs> year we sat down and thought of a way that we could give back to you. Yeah. Our community as a way of saying which thank you. We're really excited to do as well, aren't we? Yeah, of course. So we were thinking about about giving two days yep. every quarter to help support one, one of, of you guys. on a project of your own. Yeah, so we actually launched it already on Instagram. We're really sorry that we have <laughs> kind of neglected you here on YouTube, but we will be sharing it with you going forward. So we have one already set up. Yep. The first one, we're going to be helping um, one of the community members on a kitchen build in their van. So it yep. is just two days, but hopefully we can get things shifted. What I wanted to do is share some examples of applications we've had so you can see what we're what we can do <laughs> i'll give you examples of other things that we can do too so what have we had so we've had a woman who needed help in london with can just help progress with the her van, van build, build again yeah 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 it's a lot of van and, and it doesn't have to be van build related no. it can be if you're struggling to get your business started you need yeah. help um with just a extra pair of hands. So an example of that would be you are looking to start a business, you might need to head to some festivals to launch yeah. it. I'm gonna I'm just wild thinking here, but you don't have the staff or the finance, so two days of help, you know, flipping burgers or something <laughs> might <laughs> might help busy. you out so that you can then hire staff the next time. Yeah, something cool. like that. Um, obviously if you're already in an established business. Business, business then that's not for you. It's for someone who We're not here for slave help. labor. Yeah, we're not here for slave labor. Uh, another application we had which I thought was really incredible and we wish we could have helped but we don't have the means for it at yeah. this moment in time was um, supporting someone um, sort their parent their late parents house out um, with like I guess just getting things clearing. to the tip clearing and stuff like that and we would have loved to have helped but we don't yeah, have a, 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 yeah we can't do that right now especially with our time um, lines because we're you know going to Southeast Asia <laughs> um, but yeah when we're back we're gonna open it up again and we'll let you know about all of the details and how you can apply but if you are interested and you've got a project that you already think we might be able to help with there's no harm in emailing yeah, us course. already and we'll just bank it for when it opens again so drop us an email at hello at nickgrohams.co.uk if you've got a project you'd like us to help with so wrapping up on the community give back let's move on to the community meetups which we continuing this year last day, well over the past few years we've held quite a quite few too. surfing paintballing support, support trip, trip camping so we want to continue that this year yeah. but we've got a big big trip a planned big for the beginning of november yeah. it's an 11 day trip 
to Nepal. Nepal. So there's four day hiking in that, as well as going to meet the local villagers, doing some arts and crafts. Yeah, and uh, I'm trying to think, cooking classes and things like that. We'll share the full itinerary in the link below. Uh, so yeah, it is open for the community to yep. join us. So we would love it if you came to Nepal with yes. us. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we could really share, but I think it's probably easier if you just check the details yeah. below. And uh, if you've got any questions, Drop Email. us a message, hello at nickbrones.co.uk. We're always happy to answer them. Um, or on Instagram. In terms of prices though, let's quickly cover that. It's about 1,000 to 1,100 pounds for the 11 days, including accommodation and food and all of that. But flights will need to be That's sorted decent. by ourselves yep. um, because we'll all hopefully be coming from all areas of the world and meeting us. So that would be really, really cool. I, honestly, I love these community meetups because it's just a nice way to connect with you guys and like-minded people and, and make new friends <laughs> especially <laughs> for like, people friends. who don't exactly like traveling on their own and yeah. they are single so yeah. it gives them kind of a medium to meet other people and go on trips that they otherwise wouldn't yeah so we'll share that again in the links in the description in the pinned comments um and then let's talk travel challenges oh yeah what travel challenges have we got planned for we, this we've year we've got a few of us we've got a few actually. a few that are not yet set in stone well because it some all that we might depends. be revisiting obviously these depend on where we're going to be dates yeah. times and contract and we've, <laughs> but you know we've got a contract yet and we've got a busy year like as you can see so we've got to slot them in yeah. and we're already three months into the year and we last year we did on. three and this year we want to do four. So yes, we need to get a move on. I want to do four. I want to reach four. We have got one Defi planned. Well, not Defi planned, but it's going to happen. Going to Greece in December. Oh yeah, okay. Doing some like, car camping. So we need somewhere hot. So it's got to yeah. be potentially one of the Greek islands where we'll just rent a car for maybe 10 days or so. 10 to 14 days. And sleep and camp in the car. Yeah, so the challenge in that is to kind of, I guess, go on a budget and show yeah. that you can go and have a good time in a really exotic place, in the warmth, in the winter, and yeah. not spend too much money. It's just and a different again, way to travel around. Yeah, it's, you know, we always like to have a vessel with us. Off the back of Jordan hiking, yeah. I, I don't know how, but I fell in love with it by the end of it. So I've been banging. <laughs> on to you about doing another type of through hike but in the UK uh, but with all our gear on us because in Jordan the um, guides they yeah, had a yeah. truck where they took all of our backpacks from location to location which I was grateful for because it was so bloody hot but I would like to um, up that and try and do, do like a own. five day hike or something with our gear and camping while camping along That'd the way cool. here I so think. We need to plan that in, Yeah, please. I think one I try would like to try my hand out as well is bivy camping. Yes, that I mean I wouldn't mind incorporating your bag that in your bivy, so yeah. we could just sleep on a beach and then if it rains, you just turn on your side and it pray that awesome. it gets sunny by the morning. Yeah, dry <laughs> so that that's two ideas, and then as you know we're doing the bushcrafting stuff now so I, I my ideas are all swaying towards like survival building shelters and surviving camp walk, hiking for days and mine surviving are, mine are more towards heat <laughs> and the staying sun, yeah. <laughs> so that that's our ideas if there's anything that you like the sound of again let us know <laughs> yeah how do you like us to struggle yeah if there's any other ideas that you have let us know we're we're gonna try and get that started really i mean we've got three months in southeast asia so we're hoping to try plan a challenge in over there as well what that could look like i don't know i've heard i've heard my sister said that you can actually book to just be dropped off on an island and left there so <laughs> if i can figure that out we'll be doing that there too that'd be crazy <laughs> we end up eating some poisonous plants yeah so <laughs> what's next on the list but like we said we have another one which is not set in stone yet it completely depends on pricings and negotiations but could be absolutely epic oh yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> okay uh so i think i actually think that's everything so oh, really yeah thank you for sitting down with us and here's a long update and um we're sorry that we've kind of left you a little bit neglected over the past year and i've only just been popping up with series here yeah. and there um which have been awesome right yeah <laughs> well we've enjoyed them anyway um like we said we're gonna be back with weekly youtubes as of april yeah um Starting and we're yeah looking forward to catching up with you guys once again so, so come along for yeah the ride. um We'll leave you there. Ciao.